Right then guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, after last week's rant, if you like, um, about YouTube and Instagram and websites and all that random stuff I was going on about, uh, I thought it better to get back to some, some real photography this week. Um, concentrating on enjoying it, making it fun, um, rather than worrying about what the outcome was. Just enjoying the countryside and, and being out in the fresh air and what have you is, is quite important. Uh, I've stayed local, um, same reasons apply as, as, um, as I was going on about cost of fuel and what have you last week. So I stayed local, I'm literally a mile or so from, from my house. Um, if you don't know where I, where I live, I, I actually live in, in Wiltshire, in Warminster, um, a mile or so, maybe two miles from, um, from Longleat. It's a lovely place to go, but the, you know, you do have to run about a bit to get some good shots, obviously, because there's lions and tigers in there. Um, but I'm on a local, literally the, um, the bypass is just over to, to my left. Um, and what I've done, I've come out to, to take some images of a rape field and I, I always see them and I always think they look really good um, but it's I came out yesterday evening and the, the light was just wrong it was all, all wrong um, just so flat but I've come out again this evening <coughs> jumped into this farmer's field hopefully you won't mind um, I'm not doing any damage obviously um, and what we've got way in the distance there I uh, don't know if you can see right now but um, so sort of mid mid distance, there's um, this, uh, four four trees which are making up uh, a rather nice composition. Um, I'm hoping to be able to uh, get that as a, as one composition, and then there's another two just off to the right, uh, which I might also use. But I do like these ones in the mid in the mid ground here. Um, got a bit of cloud in the sky. Uh, the sun's quite high still at the minute. Uh, it's um, I don't know what time is it. It's five to six, so it is quite late in the day, all right, but the sun is still quite high. Uh, there's a bit of blue in there as well in, in with the sky, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to bring that out. Okay, so I've got the, um, the 70 to 200 on now. And as you can see, I've got the camera uh, in portrait. I'm still at F13. Still at ISO 100, one fiftieth of a second. So sorry, one one thirtieth of a second now. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two on this, and I'm going to stack it because I want this this foreground here to be nice and sharp. But equally, I want the trees to be sharp as well. So I think I'm going to focus stack it because I can't find a midpoint. So we'll literally focus on the trees and we'll focus on the foreground. So bright out here today, it's very difficult to see uh, what's what. Yeah, I like I like that a lot more. I like that a lot more than the um, than the landscape um, I had on just now. The only downside is just in front of me here is a bare patch where the um, where the rape has been eaten, probably by pigeons. Lovely creatures that they are. Um, so what I might do is once I've got it into Photoshop, just cheat a little bit. I'll either crop it or I will use a bit of Photoshop jiggly pokery and just fill that area just to, it just looks wrong, it just looks bold and it, it looks wrong. So I think that's, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do now is probably up sticks. Um, just along the field, the, the edge of the, the, the bypass here, 
Um, just up on the left hand side, a bit further up, there is some bluebells in a wood. Um, and I might just see if I can get in there. If the light's still good enough, get in there and maybe see if we can get a shot of some bluebells. With the sun still high in the sky, you might get the streams of light coming through the woods uh, and landing on the bluebells. Okay, so let's pack up, let's get going. Wow. Look at all those bluebells. Unfortunately, it's up past six in the evening. Sun's starting to drop. There's probably not a great composition here, but still a little bit of light. Just, you just see it coming in across here now. So I think what I'm gonna do is get the camera on the tripod. So I think it's probably gonna to be too, too dark for a handheld shot. And I, despite what some people say, I like to use the tripod. I just do. Um, probably because I don't trust myself. I think for, with a tripod, you can, you can set up, you can take your time a little bit more. Okay, rather than, you know, uh, trying to get the shot um, handheld. It's just my opinion, it's just my, my, my my way of doing things. I'm not saying anything wrong with handheld, it's just, just what I, I prefer to use a tripod. Secondly, my knees are getting old. All right, so getting up and down, it's a little bit harder. All right, so get a tripod out, get it set up and go from there. Again, we've got some nice shadows coming in across with the light, so we'll quickly get set up. Probably not a great opportunity and not a lot of time. So um, yeah, let's get on. Okay, that's it, so we're set up. I've actually just seen right up on the top of the hill, there's a, like a huge, um, I don't know, oak, I don't know what it is. I'm not, I'm not very tree orientated. If anybody knows, tell me, it's right up on the top. Okay, and it's a kind of a, kind of a, a corridor of trees, starting with this one on the left, and, and it takes you all the way to the top with that tree. So I think what I'm gonna do is take a shot of that and, and maybe, have to turn the camera into portrait. Focus point will be maybe midpoint. Um, yeah, let's give that a go. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to go into, into portrait. All right. Um, so let's just bring the camera out. Get more of the ground, we're just gonna Go up to F13. Focus about five meters in front. That brings this tree in. Obviously the, the, the big tree at the end isn't quite so prominent. It's a third of a second. F13, ISO 100. Um, I'll have a look at that. Um, I think still got the sun coming in, it's still casting shadows in here, so I'm just going to hang about for a little while longer, I think, and hopefully, hopefully, it's going to throw a beautiful beam of light right across this wood, um, he said excitedly, but uh, yeah, will it happen? I don't know, I don't know, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Um, if I get it, if I do get the shot, obviously I'll put the shot up for you. Um, if not, as always, um, thank you for, for, for watching. Hopefully um, it's better than last week's rant, if you like. Um, let me know what you think of the video. Give it a, a thumbs up or, or a dislike if you don't like it. Uh, just as soon as a thumbs up. Please share the video, subscribe to the channel if you don't already and leave a comment. Tell me which photo you think was the best. All right, comments are always useful. 
and feedback is also always useful and I'll always reply to your comment uh, regardless of whether it's good or bad but I do appreciate feedback and, and this is the best way to get it um, and it's for free as well you know so the subscribe for free it's always good um, till next time thank you again um, and we'll see you soon take care